Good morning, I'm Carolina Gonzalez. And I'm Maria McKay. Student Council is starting its annual active fundraiser today. And students can bring in items to donate for this holiday. It is going to end Thursday the 22nd. Now here's an informational video about the yearbook. Hi, this is Lucas with Beast News. Do you plan on buying a yearbook this year? Because you may want to be doing it soon. Here's some more information on that. This here is the website you'll need to go to in order to get your yearbook. There's many different things that they're offering when ordering at a particular time, like you and one Visa card. You can also decorate your yearbook however you want with messages, photos, icons. So, yeah. so make sure to start customizing. If you have any other questions or concerns that you are wondering about, then you can contact Mrs. Krieger at her email. And also, there's the link to the website we were just on. So if you want to start customizing your own yearbook and get right to it, then go ahead. The History Club is having a holiday ornament competition. It's on Wednesday, December 2nd in Miss Athey's room. Check the weekly newsletter for more information. Just another reminder, the bus loop changes on December 5th, so make sure to be ready for that. Since Thanksgiving break ended, everyone's been looking a little sleepy. How are you feeling, Maria? I think we're all struggling. <laughs> Good thing there's only 17 school days till winter break. Here's a video on how some students feel about starting school early. Starting school early is a very controversial topic in all school districts. Some people think it might be nice because you get to end school earlier, but some people think differently. I interviewed some students to see what they thought. I'm Dante DiRazia and I'm a, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Melissa Mokwis, I'm a senior. My name is Jocelyn Anderson and I'm a sophomore. I don't like waking up at 7.20, it's too early, I hate getting out of bed. I do not like waking up at 7.20 in the morning for school, I'm very tired. I don't really like it because it makes me like tired throughout the day and it's hard to wake up so early. I wouldn't want to come to school later because then they go later in the day and I like getting out at 2, so I have stuff I can do stuff after. I do wish school would start later. No, because then like everything after school would be later, so I'd have to stay up even later. Getting up early, uh, it kind of affects my school day because I'm really tired, so I go to sleep in class sometimes and then I, I get distracted and it, it doesn't, doesn't help me in school. Um, it affects me throughout the day because I'm very tired and I just can't focus in class and I just want to take a nap. Yeah, being tired throughout the day and like falling asleep in classes and stuff. As of right now, starting school later is not a debatable topic here at South Line East. So here are three things you can do to not be tired during class. Moving around or doing activities that involve moving around is a great way to stay awake during class. But if you're not able to do that, Participating during class is another way that you can stay awake. One last tip that you can use to help you fight tiredness is drinking lots of water. Studies show that people who start their day with cold water find that it helps to wake them up since dehydration naturally occurs when you sleep and dehydration makes people tired. Let's work on those sleeping habits, Eve. The choir is hosting a singing syrup in Santa. You'll be able to hear the choir sing while you eat breakfast. It is on Saturday, December 10th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can do a lot of activities like photos with Santa and arts and crafts, and as well as breakfast, $12 for adults, seniors, $10. That's it for today. Have a good day and remember to be easy.